Welcome to TFT Tarot for today, Divine Dabblings with Oprah and me, Banshee. And it's me, Banshee, with my Material Matters segment, your weekly tarot keys to success in business, education, and finance. Welcome to the show. Uh, we're going to try something new today, and I definitely would love your feedback. If you could let me know if you prefer this method of doing the readings weekly to the one I have been doing, you know, sometimes change is good. So I thought I would try something new out today, and if it does not work, we'll go back to the old method. So, but we'll start off with something you're familiar with. Our card for the collective has not changed. And I'm using Yasmin Bolin's uh, Moonology Manifestation Oracle. I thought I'd show a little bit of me and a little bit of the set today. So we'll see how this goes. And Mr. O is still at work, but he should be coming home any minute now. So I am in charge here. <laughs> anyway, okay. We're going to see how this goes today. Cutting the cards. All right. Wow, so we have the last quarter moon in Scorpio. Interesting. Ah, there we go. Last quarter moon in Scorpio. And, well, I will read it on here. It does have a little thing on the card that says, Reveal what needs to be seen. Ah. There are some things that people just don't like to talk about. Drawing this card suggests there's an issue or situation in your life now that might not be easy to air, or perhaps you feel that you shouldn't air it. That's fine. Now is the time for you to reveal only what you want to be seen. Don't feel the need to discuss everything with everyone. Some matters require discretion. The less codependent you are, the better chance you have of getting what you want. There are two forces at play and neither want to budge. Strong is good. Stubborn is a problem. That was your manifesting mix, by the way. The manifest mindset is when you no longer feel the need to tell everyone what you're manifesting, you're ready to start manifesting. And your manifestation affirmation is, I know that dramas now are healing crises. Well, I think this card has a lot um, of the Seven of Swords in it, in that, you know, Hold things close to your chest when you need to. Only release things when, you know, it's the right time. You don't want to tip your hand too soon to your competitors, for example. If you're introducing a new product, uh, you don't want to tip your hand to people if you have a great new idea when it's ready to go. You'll know when it's the right time. That's when you should release the information. Play it safe. Play it smart. Sometimes it's better leaving things unsaid for a while. That's what I have for the collective. Let's move on to the astrological forecast. That's not changing either. Let's take a look at what's going on in this week ahead. Uh, this reading, which I'm doing for all of the signs of the zodiac, you each get your own reading, will be from January 21st through the 27th. The moon will be traveling from Gemini into Leo Virgo by the 27th on the 27th. Venus is uh, moving into Capricorn on January 23rd. There is a full moon in Leo on January 25th. And Uranus is going direct. Woohoo! On January 27th. That's all I've got today. Wow. So. What say we get going with this crazy new reading style? And I am starting today with Aries, the first sign of the zodiac, and my sign. And also, everybody, you know, you could look your sun, moon, rising sign. So these readings are good for your sun, moon, rising. So you might want to stay tuned. Mr. O will timestamp these so you'll be able to, or at least a close approximation, so you'll be able to find your sign easily. All right. Thank <laughs> you. 
Aries, sun, moon, rising. This is for you for the week ahead. Let's see what's out there. All right. Wow, you start off right with the Ace of Pentacles. That's awesome. Let's get that in there. What's next? I did that right. It's the Ten of Wands reversed. And the Queen of Cups is upright. Holy moly. What nice readings for you all. Um, Aries. <laughs> Beginning of something new is coming this week. Something that will alleviate a lot of burdens in your life. You are going to feel so good about this move. It could be a new job. It could be a job with less stress or pressure or maybe a promotion or a lateral move where you're feeling a lot less pressure. It could be moving your money in some way that benefits you. All of this is just going to make you feel a whole lot better. Wow. <laughs> Good start. Good start for you, Aries. I want to be you this week. Oh, wait. I am. <laughs> All right. I'm pretty happy about that. Let's move on to Taurus. Let's see what's going on with our Taurian friends. All right. I just missed being a Taurus by an hour or so, so I feel very closely attached to Taurus energy. But I guess I was born to be an Aries. Taurus, you start with the Eight of Pentacles reversed. You... Your next card is the King of Swords, upright. And your final card is the Sun, reversed. Well, you know, guys, make the right choices and decisions this week. You know, don't wallow. Don't put it off. I have a feeling this could be putting off important matters you need to take care of and decide. Uh, it looks as though maybe um, things aren't turning out exactly as you planned, but actually it is not a very bad week for you. The sun reversed is always good, you know, whether it's upright or reversed. It just means that maybe some little extra details need to be done. So in other words, I feel here if you want to... Do the, you know, it might be because important choices you're making, you're putting off that things aren't turning out the way you had hoped. So my advice is don't put anything off this week. Persevere. Even if it's mundane, boring, or it's a difficult decision you don't want to make, it won't serve you as well if you put it off. All right. How about our friends, the Gemini's? Uh oh, what did I do here? <laughs> hmm. There we go. All right. Well, little glitches like that will slow me down. Just wanted to try this reading out to see if, you know, I could give a little bit more detail for each of the signs, sun, moon, and rising, and see if you guys would like that better because it's more specific to you rather than, you know, just doing the elemental broadly. All right. Okay, Gemini's, you start with the Nine of Wands, upright. Your next card is the Nine of Swords reversed. Got two nines here, eh? And your final card is the King of Wands. The King of Wands is upright. That's very nice. Um, it's interesting here, you know. All I can say is your stress and anxiety level seems to be 
be going away. You don't feel as stressed. You don't feel as anxious. Nothing is keeping you awake at life. And why? Because you're prepared for what you face this week. You know, if you're going for job interviews or you're trying to get a loan or some financial backing for some project that you're working on, I feel here, you know, stand tall, stand courageous and stand up for what you want. You know, show them your power. Show them that you're not afraid of anything and that you have everything together to make something happen. You have everything a workplace needs, you know, show them your skills, your talents, and show them that you are a leader, Gemini's. Wow, nice going. Hey, Cancers, let's see what's going on in your world. All right. Okay, Cancers. Up, oh, we've got a repeat card in the same spot. It's the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is reversed. I figured we'd get some repeat cards here doing all 12 signs. And we got the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is upright. That was in a different reading. That also is a repeat. And the Ten of Cups is upright. Nice. Well, I will say this. There's a couple ways I could go with this, Cancers. Uh, you know, it feels as though you might have your mind on other things <laughs> this week. Uh, maybe, you know, in your personal life, things are going well. Maybe there's some big celebration. Maybe you're getting married. <laughs> You know, that's often what this card means, but it's happy occasions that maybe, you know, making you drop the ball a little bit at work. So kind of try to focus, try to get through your work this week. I would also, when I look at these cards, think to myself that, you know, you may have been feeling a bit distracted. You may have felt like your work has been getting to you. It's been a little bit mundane uh, and, and tedious and you just can't focus uh, on what you need to right now. Try to get in balance again. Get your emotions in balance and in harmony and also maybe seek some support from others. If you're overwrought and you have too much on your plate, there may be others out there who are more than willing to help you this week get through. So, good luck with that, Cancers. Hey, Leos, it's your turn. All right. Cut them. Okay, you start with the Queen of Wands reversed, Leos. Hmm, kind of surprising for you guys. You always like to be out there shining in the spotlight. The Hierophant is also reversed. And the Six of Swords is also reversed. My, my. Well, you know, something is holding you back this week. Somebody, something is making you... Uh, afraid, you know, of showing your true talents, your true abilities. Uh, maybe, you know, somebody has criticized you and you've, it's kind of put you in a very self-conscious situation. I feel here you got to change it up. You know, you got to change it up. You got to shake things up a little bit because otherwise this week is going nowhere. You know, you need to do things differently. You need to think differently. And maybe you need to not let other people get under your skin. I don't think this is a week for you to lay low. I think this is a week for you to consider changing what might be wrong. You know, whether it's the people you're working with that are not supportive or appreciative of what 
you bring to the table or don't realize your abilities. Maybe, you know, you can stay there and feel stuck or you could shake things up, make the changes you need or possibly move on. Don't get stuck. Don't stay still. All right. Virgos. Let's see what's going on in your world. Okay. You have the Ten of Pentacles reversed for your start here. Let's see what else you've got. You have the Four of Wands reversed as well. Ah, and you have the Magician Upright Virgos. All right, Virgos, here's what I think. Uh, I think, you know, you're worried about your long-term success financially or in your business world or your career. Uh, you're concerned that maybe your job is going to be eliminated someday. Uh, you're worried about your future. You're worried if you're investing enough money. Things may not be as bad as they seem with the four of uh, wands reversed, but what it is saying is check, check on things, you know, do a, do a check. Look at the finer points. Look at the details and make sure everything is the way you want. Because according to the magician here, you have everything you need in order to succeed. So maybe some of these fears are unfounded. But, you know, and this might even go for you students out there who are wondering if you are, you know, on the right path in, in your studies. If this is really the right career focus for you or whatever. Really give it some thought. Things are not going as bad as you may think. And really you have it all together. You really do. You can succeed. You can manifest what you desire. You just have to focus your intent on it. And that's what I have for you, Virgos. Good luck with that. Right. All right, Libras, let's see what we have for you. Well, Libras, you start with the devil. The devil is upright. Ooh, and then you have another major arcana, the moon. The moon is upright as well. And then you have the six of cups. The six of cups is upright. All upright cards. Well... <laughs> okay, you know, I think here something is something is restricting your movement right now. Something is restricting you from moving forward or making progress or possibly, you know, earning more money. And it seems to be you're not, there are a lot of uncertainty surrounding this. You're not sure where this is coming from or what you need to do to right the situation. Uh, there seems to be some mystery. There seems to be, you know, you're going to have to do some unraveling, uh, going, pl plumbing the depths to figure out what is wrong here. What is blocking progress? What is holding you back? And I almost think the answers lie in your past. Uh, you know, usually this is a happy card, and I'm not saying it's necessarily 
necessarily unhappy, but there may be some clues either from past behavior, uh, maybe from past market movements, for example, if this is about the stock market, uh, this could just, or maybe from, you know, performances on past jobs or procedures that you used to do, maybe the answer lies there. A very mysterious reading for you, <laughs> Libras. I think here you're just going to have to really give it some thought and maybe trust your gut. Your gut may be trying to tell you something about what is blocking your progress and is suggesting strongly you look back at your past or at the past of this matter. Good luck with that, Libra. All right. Hey, Scorpios, let's see what's going on in yours and Mr. O's world. One more shuffle for you. All right. Let's see what we have. Well, Scorpios, party hardy. You've got the three of cups. Three of cups to start with. And this time the eight of pentacles reappears, but it is upright. And then we have the chariot. The chariot is upright as well. Hmm. Wow. Well, I think your hard work is going to be recognized in some way, in a really positive way. You have a reason to celebrate this week with people. Success uh, is coming to you, or forward movement with the chariot here. It just seems like everything is propelling you forward. You know, there might be some good success, uh, you know, on the present job that you're on, getting a bonus, getting a raise in pay, uh, being taken more seriously, getting help that you need, perhaps perhaps, because uh, also this card can be about networking and collaborations. Everything just seems to be flowing smoothly, especially in your career sector. But I can't rule out, too, that you're making the right moves in order to move your finances forward as well. Nice reading for the Scorpios up and coming this week. All right. Hey, Sagittarians, let's see what's going on in your world. Okay, you have the Ten of Wands reversed. That has come up before. Ooh, have the Ace of Swords upright. You have the Queen of Swords reversed. Hmm. Well, kind of an interesting mixed bag here. Um... I think you've been feeling, you know, <coughs> you've been going, excuse me, <coughs> you've been going through a period recently where you may have felt overburdened, um, stressed, uh, that things have not been going according to plan, uh, and uh, maybe you just feel like you're carrying too much of a load or were, and you're trying to ease that. I know this card is reversed and it usually means it's eased, but I'm looking at the situation here, and I'm thinking that this week could bring you a breakthrough moment. You could really finally figure out what it is you need to do to unburden yourself whether, you know, there have been financial losses or whether there's been difficulties in managing your workload. But, you know, 
only I, I, the only problem is that you really got to put your mind to it. You really got to give it some thought. You can't just keep moving forward the way you have if you want the situation to change. Uh, you know, you've got to think it through. And I think that's highly possible this week. Maybe clarity will return, uh, you know, in a sudden breakthrough moment. My fear is you might miss it. You know, you might not be paying attention, but there's an aha moment just waiting to come out to tell you what you need to do to fix this situation. Good luck with that, Sagittarians. All right. Hey, Capricorns, this reading is for you for the week ahead. Okay, let's see. Whoa. All right, let's see what's happening here. Okay, we have the hanged man reversed. We have the seven of wands upright. And we have the High Priestess reversed. Wow. So Capricorns, let's see what we have here. We have the Hanged Man reversed, and that indicates that, you know, it seems as though you're getting... How should I say? You have more clarity of thought now. You, it's almost as if you know what you must do. You've You've been giving something a lot of thought. Now is the time to act on that thought. And it has something to do with um, getting the edge, getting the edge on competition. You know, whether it's applying for jobs, whether it's, uh, you know, getting the edge with a product or with, with, with a marketing campaign to try to stand above the rest. Uh, your gut or your intuition, though, is what's kind of blocking you right now. I feel here that you sort of know what you feel you have to do intuitively, but your gut may be telling you something else. And honestly, to be honest with you, I really feel you have to go with more, you know, the left brain analytical stuff right now uh, and not, and not uh, go with the gut. Trust your Trust your analytical side, right brain, left brain, I'm forgetting which. But uh, you really need to find a way to rise above your competition. And your gut just can't really get a feel for what's going on. But, you know, some of the careful thought and objective analysis that you may have been doing lately may hold the answers. So good luck with that. Hey Aquarians, it's your turn. Let's see what we have for you in this week ahead. Well, Aquarians, it's the Five of Wands reversed. It's the Devil upright. Back again. And it's the Four of Swords reversed. Mm. So I feel like either... Stiff competition or um, arguments at work or with your peers, with, with uh, your bosses, people not being on the same page is really worn you down. You want to walk away. You want to move on, but you feel stuck. You feel trapped right now. Uh, you know, you can't seem to break free from this situation, even though this situation is sort of saying it's time to either let it go, 
compromise with others, or move on. And we have the four of, of swords here. You know, you really have a lot of energy. You have a lot of motivation. You have a lot of drive. You would like to use that to be able to move forward. But if there's a lot of arguing and conflict going on, or you know what, if you can't seem to find a way to navigate through the competition that you face, you know, whether you're going for a job or whether you're going for something else, maybe it's time to apply all this energy elsewhere. Ooh, good luck with that, Aquarians. And Pisces, this reading is for you for the week ahead. All right, let's give this a nice shuffle. Okay. You have the Eight of Wands reversed. Devil's back again, and this time reversed. Wow, talk about a crazy reading. And now we have the Four of Swords again, but this time he, the Four of Swords is upright. I find this to be a very interesting read, though, uh, for you Pisces. You know, the bottom line here is that uh, you might be a little bit, you might be a little bit burnt out, you know. There's, there's obviously some rest that's needed here. And yet... You know, you, you feel as though you want to bust out, you want to break out, you want to um you want to be able to move forward from things that have been restricting you because you do feel restricted right now. It's possible that some of you are experiencing a sick spell right now and need time to recover. Is there illness in your workplace? Is it hard to connect with others right now because they too are gone and under the weather? There could be a lack of, of an ability to connect with others. Uh, and, you know, you're trying to find a way to break out of that. You're trying to find a way to move forward positively. I almost feel like this is a good sign indicating that, you know, you will rebound from this. But right now is a time to maybe lay low and try to recoup your strength and your energy once more. Maybe you've just been doing too much. Maybe you've been scattering yourself too much. Remember, multitasking is evil. <laughs> you know, one task at a time, one day at a time, one step at a time. Okay? All right, Pisces, that's what I have for you. Wow. Well, we're done with the readings. I really hope you enjoyed it. I maybe spent a little bit more time on some than the others. Uh, it's a fast read, but hopefully you can see how it might apply to your situation in the week ahead. And I definitely want to hear your feedback. Maybe I need to do this one or more or two more times, you know, to see how you feel about it. Let me know. Uh, and I want to thank you for this opportunity to try this with you. Uh, now I want to tell you about our other shows. How about that? Well, I gotta say that it looks like we are not having a live show today. I am canceling it because of the Lions football game. I admit it. I admit it. Uh, but I do feel that, you know, I'll just be too wound up. I'm better served watching the game and we need a much needed day off. And so does our moderator, Violet Lotus. <laughs> so no live show today. But normally on Sundays, our live shows are 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we will return next week, hopefully depending on when the Lions game is, because we know they're going to win on Sunday. All right. So on to, on, on um, Wednesday is Mr. O's Goth Tarot. Every Wednesday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, where you can get a check in with the shadow side of your life and get some good solid advice from Mr. O. And on Thursdays, we will be live to 7 and 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where you can ask us any question and we'll give you an answer as best we can. 
<laughs> as only we can. And on Friday, on Friday is Mr. O's Emotional Exchanges, where you can check in with the emotional side of life. That's at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And of course, on Saturdays is our Happy Hour Show. Come join us, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, where you can get a single card positive message from Spirit. No questions on that show. We just want to make you happy. So join us and get happy. All right. Thanks again, everybody, for joining me today. Hope you have a wonderful, prosperous week ahead, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.